word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Isaiah 45, 17 quotes, Everyone who has been formed, or made, or created, I have made him for my glory. What a great truth it would be for us to know. If there would not be any rebellion by Satan, then the result of this angelic conflict wouldn't be. And to resolve this angelic conflict, we, the human race, wouldn't have come into force. If everyone at the same time knows that they have been made for the glory of Jehovah, they would have really oriented their life to the praise of His glory really oriented that truth to the reality that they have been permanently indwelt by Lord God, the Holy Spirit, so that they can now endure under the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, to go through the process of Bible doctrine more readily as never before. You do not know what are you in Christ. You do not know what is the reason behind that you have been sustained in this logistical grace in Christ so that you can grow along and move along into super grace and become a winner believer in Christ. You never know the reality of the word which is so much essential for us to note in a day by day process that we take. It's a day by day process. If you take once for all at a time the complete doctrine your mind will blow off. You need to take in a day by day process. Why? So that you can orient yourself to the creation where Lord has created for you to the praise of His glory in His grace in eternity past. Before the foundation of the world, says Ephesians 1, 3 to 6, Lord has given you a destiny, Lord has predestined you, so that you can be in love, blameless and holy. In love having predestinated, that's what the correct word will read. That's what many people fail to realize the truth. They take to the reality of themselves thinking that we can do this, we can do that, we can proclaim this, we can proclaim that. No way, no chance. We are here to understand only one simple truth, dear brethren, whether you believe in take it or not. You have been created for God's glory. Every believer has been called to the praise of his glory. At the moment of salvation, he glorifies my Lord instantaneously. But the life that he leaves behind and the impact that he leaves behind in this angelic conflict or in this earth as well as in the heaven, he has a definite impact right now in the heavenlies as well. Not after the earth, not after the point of your rapture you are going to leave impact. No, right now. Your day-to-day -day walk you are impacting the heaven as well as the earth. You are day to day life that you are living behind by the true mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, to the maximum praise of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You are living behind a great impact. And that great impact demands a day by day growth in the process of knowledge in Bible doctrine, without which it is no way possible for you to please that great Lord. You may think you can do it, you may think you can achieve it, but no way, no chance at all, without having the true mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and to know the knowledge of Bible doctrine, you cannot have the doctrine. That's what our Lord said, those who worship me must worship him in spirit and in truth. The copyleard conjunction chi, it goes with the spirit, when Lord God the Holy Spirit really controls you, it takes you to learn the truth. It causes you to know Bible doctrine. It is not through the miracles, healings, or tongues. If you want to do some miracles, Lord will automatically do it on your behalf if you are walking contrary. No, if you are walking in alignment with this world. Your obstacles, your things will be absolutely gone, provided you look upon the grace rather than legalism. 
Jesus, who Paul was told, My grace is sufficient for thee. He did not went back to look upon the legal. He said that he stood upon that. Today, where are we, sir? Are we standing in the reality of the world? Are we standing in the reality of the world? Believer who has been formed, created, built, or made, Parayatse Ryasa in heaven, have been made for thy glory or not. If the word stands written, it has been made for his glory, then what are we working at? The instant it is glory is that you have been called to believe in Christ. You have been founded before the world, predestined to be holy and blameless in Christ. What else do you require, dear brother? Rather than orienting yourself to that, you are not at all capable of understanding that. Either in your lifetime you will become to know, to be positive to that and become a super grace believer, or neglect that and it will be like the reversionism. Reversionism repudiates God. Not only spiritual nourishment from his written word rejected, but so is every divine provision and solution in life, the polytheism of religions. God has immeasurable, incomparable blessings, and he desires to pour out liberally. But he cannot dispense blessings unless the believer possesses the capacity to receive them. Neglect or rejection of Bible doctrine destroys appreciation for God's grace. The believer in reversionism blasphemes the Lord when in effect he says, I do not want your blessings, Lord. I do not want your happiness or prosperity. I do not want a life filled with meaning, purpose, and definition. I do not want spiritual power. Do not interfere me in my life. I will do it in my way. Everyone wants to be happy, but you must first face the issue. By what means will you seek happiness? God's way, the road to super grace or ultra super grace via the daily function of gap leading to true temporal eternal happiness or the man's ways which says the path via human talent or ability vainly pursuing spirituality, happiness and success apart from Bible doctrine. Perhaps you will never realize that you blasphemy God by your obdurate self-indulgent lifestyle that is Christian moral degeneracy or Christian immoral degeneracy. You have never understood that he possesses ultimate capacity for giving. Grace, the expression of his absolute, perfect integrity, is the basis from which he gives. When you refuse his grace, God has no alternative but to correct you in punishment. From the moment you are born again, you must make repeated decisions to accept God's offer to a fantastic happiness, or you will disgrace yourself in reversionism and ultimately die the sinner to death. We shall cover in the next step the document pertaining to the sinner to death. Reversionists are spiritual losers. The evil of reversionist, reversionism is a sinister roadblock to, rick, to victory in this Christian life. No believer has any excuse for not becoming a spiritual winner and living constantly in the sphere of super grace or ultra super grace. God is glorified by winners and he intends for every believer to be in this clown. Doctrine, doctrine in the soul not only animates capacity for life, for love, and for blessing, but it enables the believer to emerge victorious in this angelic conflict. The Jewish believers who advanced to super grace between AD 67 and AD 70 were delivered from one of the worst holocausts in history. They survived to spread blessing and prosperity throughout the Roman Empire. Those who remained reversionists, enemies of the cross, were caught in the catastrophe and died horribly under the sin of death. Should the nation USA continue on its present course, we will, they will undoubtedly find yours, they, themselves in the same dire straits. Dire straits. At when enough believers faithfully hear, learn, and apply doctrine, national divergentism and the impact of evil are diverted. Bible doctrine resident in the soul is the only way to stay on course and maintain sanity in an uncharted evil world. God gives every believer a chartered course, so he knows what to do and where to go in life. That not only changes the lives of individual believers, but alters the course of history by reversing, by reversing the tide of personal and national reversionism. In Matthew 5, 13, 14, a and 16, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has become tasteless, how will it be made salty again? It is good for nothing anymore, except to be thrown out and trampled under foot by man. You are the light of the world. Let your light shine before man in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. 
same salt principle told by Apostle Paul, and the same salt principle, the light principle told by Apostle Paul in Ephesians 5, walking in the light, or 1 John 1 9, what we can find in 1 John 1 7, walk in the light. And we do have one more thing for us to note you are the salt of this earth, seasoned with salt, your word, said Colossians 3. Therefore, dear brethren, which way you want to go? You want to follow God's plan or the plan of mankind? Reversion is unplanned. The super grass plan tells for you to go via the roadmap, which is very clear to super grace and ultra super grace by the daily function of gap grace, a purpose of perception, leading to true temporal and eternal happiness. And that is what God's way is. Or man's way tells, go via your human talent or ability. And you pursue vainly your spirituality or you pursue your happiness and success apart from Bible doctrine. If you go your human viewpoint, failure to reversion, you go to reversionism, failure to reach super grace or ultra super grace. And if you go to divine viewpoint in a daily intake of Bible doctrine day by day, you will not only protect your country from the ISIS attack, what you're going to have, or in the future attacks, but rather you will be a winner believer, super grace, ultra super grace. And Lord delivers the nation where there are enough pivot to go through the knowledge of Bible doctrine. Therefore, dear brethren, ponder over these things as we shall continue in the next step. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was going to fellowship in through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge our in Lord. Father, we ask it in question, Father. Amen.